Hi everyone. This is weird. So I am filming this on a webcam on a laptop in my school apartment. The reason I'm filming this on a webcam is because um my phone hasn't been able to access videos lately. So you saw how I did my eyeshadow palette um, collection. I was able to do that because that video was taken so long ago and I'd already uploaded it to my computer. I wanted to make another video. I filmed an updated version of my vinyl collection and for some reason it wouldn't work. So today I'm going to be doing a little makeup haul. This is makeup that I got at the Ulta in Asheboro. So a little bit of context. So my boyfriend and I wanted to go to Asheboro Zoo for the weekend and we literally got to the parking lot of the zoo. There was a sign right outside that says, due to the weather, the zoo is closed. On the website, it hadn't updated. There was no update saying that the zoo was closed. Um, it had snowed the night before, but the roads were clear. Um, the parking lots looked clear, so I don't know why they had to close. It didn't snow again the entire time we were there. So instead of going to the zoo, we ended up going to the Ashboro Mall, and there was an Ulta. And I don't go to Ulta a lot. There, There is now an Ulta um, in Hickory. They just opened one up. Um, so I might start going to Ulta nowadays. Um, I have an account there now. Um, so this is just a little haul of things I got Ulta. These are things that some things I've bought before, and most of this I've never bought um, before. I've bought stuff from these companies before, but I've never bought these specific products. So we're going to start with the thing I bought before. These are the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge Duo, so it's two sponges. I use these sponges for my setting powder, and I'm actually going to replace one, but I'm going to use the other one for the rest of my face and see if it works. I did try and use one of these sponges wet ones, and it did not work. So I'm going to keep these sponges for my setting powder. Um, it's a really great product to use for setting powder. You can use this sponge dry or wet. So, um, I use it for setting powder because of the material it's made out of. Um, it's more spongy than like smooth, so that kind of helps with my setting powder placing it on. So that's something I've gotten before. The rest of this stuff I've never bought, but I have bought from this company before. This is from BH Cosmetics. This is the Los Angeles 16 color shadow palette. They have a lot of these palettes where it's like different uh, places. So they have one for Paris, um, one for New York, one for Tokyo. And I got the Los Angeles one because I like the shades the most. So the other reason I'm using this webcam is I can't remember if I bought my tripod back to school. So here you go. Here are the shades. Hopefully you can see them all. So one thing I like about these shades is the colors aren't too bright, but they do stand out slightly. You got a couple of shimmers. Most of the shades are matte. And then we have this white shade at the bottom, which I find really interesting. So it's about... It's about half and half shadows and mattes, but the colors are really interesting. It's a lot of like summer bright colors, a couple of neutrals here and there. Like there's these peach colors and this brown, and then you got some gold shades here and there, and some pastels, which I really like the color story of this palette. Um, and the shade names are all places in Los Angeles. So you got Malibu, uh, LAX, Rodeo Drive, um, WeHo. There's a little bit of fallout in the palette. Not a lot, but just a little bit, which um, we'll see how that translates. I did swatch these shades already, so I know how they look. Um, I would probably say my favorite is probably going to be 90210, this pink shade, because pink is, you know, the color I always get with. So, um, yeah. Next product. Oh my god. 
I was so excited that they had some of these products here. This is from the Doja Cat collection from VH Cosmetics. They were out of the eyeshadow palette. I'm pretty sure they had four of the lip colors. They only had this highlighter, so it had been sold out for the Doja. Um, which I understand, but I got this highlighter, uh, the Doja Cat Prism Highlighter in the shade Champagne. So you can see from the bottom, it's this gorgeous, like, gold color, light gold. I love this shade. I keep forgetting the camera's all the way up here. But I think this shade is really pretty. It's kind of a neutral gold. It's not too bright. It's not too dark. I think this is, I think this is gonna really work, you know? Um. If you're looking for a shade that's like kind of, you know, shimmery and extra, but also kind of like not too extra, I mean, that's a really beautiful shade. More from the Doja Cat collection, I got two of the Doja Cat Muse Plumping Lip Glosses. First one I got was the red. I really wanted the pink, but they didn't have the pink, and I got really upset, so I got the red instead. One, love packaging. One thing I do hate is the font is red over red lip gloss. Well, it's more pink on camera, if you can see that. It's a little bit more pink, but to me it's red, so I can like barely read it. This red is more like a ruby kind of red, so I don't know if I should try it right now. No, I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. That might look better. It's definitely more pink than red, so it's definitely red. If I could just slide off. Nah, that's even more. Okay, maybe if I change the angle, be red. It's very pink, so I wouldn't say this is exactly red. Red, it's more of a pink, but it's still really pretty. Um, so yeah, I'd say it's more of a ruby red that is a red red. Which I prefer a red red, but I don't mind a ruby red. I just hate orange reds. I hate orange red. I hate orange in general. Um, and next, the ever lip gloss I got was the Doja Cat Muse Gold Plumping Lip Gloss. So we're gonna try this one. I've never had a gold lip gloss before, so I am very excited about this. So it's kind of a champagne gold color. Very pretty. Very good. Very good. And, um, gonna swatch. Ooh. Okay, so that's gold right there. It's really hard to see in this lighting. This lighting sucks. Put it down a bit. How can you see? Nope. Well, maybe a little. It's it's definitely I'd say like a like a like a toffee kind of gold, like a caramel, and that might be what she was going for. So I do like this shade. It's very different. I probably use it as a topper um, more than I would a natural just lipstick by itself. But it is super pretty. And the next thing I got was a fragrance. This is the last thing I got from Ulta. So, I don't always like buying fragrances because I think they, they charge so much money for a fragrance that you could buy anywhere for a cheaper price. Okay, so I did spend the extra money. I got the Ariana Grande Cloud fragrance. I got the, um, the 0.33 fluid ounce because I didn't need the whole thing. So I got the like little bottle. Did I buy it just because it had the name Ariana Grande on? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little. But I do like the smell. I like the smell. I like perfumes that smell like this. The lid comes off very easily. Oh, there it goes. Well, it's fine. Anyway, I do like the scent. My boyfriend didn't like it. My... <laughs> I don't know if you get in trouble for this, but one thing that Cameron did when we were at the Ulta was he kept spraying the fragrances on the little cardboard things and then took all the cardboard things with him when we left. <laughs> Which, like, I'm not blaming him. I'm not completely upset. I'm trying to make this light look nicer so I don't look like a ghost. There we go. Maybe that's better. I don't know. 
there's there's the shades of the lip gloss um but yeah it was <laughs> i also got some things i mean i could show you the stuff i got from books a million because this is mainly this is an ulta thing but i'll show you what i got from books a million because Books million. I got this book of world mythology um, by Tamsin Hughes. So it's a collection of a bunch of mythology from different countries. And um, yeah, it's going to have some Christianity in there. But you know, so you got stuff from Australia, Japan, Egypt. So it starts off with like creep creation myths and that goes into floods so of course you gotta have noah's art um but there's some upper death saloons that are really cool cosmology stories of gods and men so you got a bunch of god stuff um legendary heroes tricksters mythological epics death and the afterlife blurring history legend and mythology and then customs and popular religion so stuff like witchcraft and sorcery voodoo um ancestor worship you know stuff like that it's 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 really cool like seeing all these different myths you know being created and it tells you like the difference between a myth a legend and a folk story you know, the common features that you're gonna get in those, it's got some really cool pictures. So yeah, this is really interesting. I really like this. And then, the other thing I want to say. So I got this book. This is The Book of Birthdays. Discover What Your Birthday Says About You by Pam Carthers. So this is one of those horoscope shit zodiac books. But what I want to do is, you guys, on this video, comment one which products from Ulta did you like the most um, that I got today. And if you'd like to recommend any products I should buy next or any makeup brands I should check out, they don't have Fenty Beauty at Ulta. But I know they have BH Cosmetics. I love BH Cosmetics. So let me know if there's any products from there you want me to try. Um, if there's anything from, from ColourPop, I think ColourPop was really cool. So let me know if there's anything you want me to try. But another thing I want you guys to do, and this is important, I want my subscribers to comment their birthdays. And then I will do a shout out talking about your birthday and what it means. So right now I'm going to do mine because, you know, I'm a narcissist. And also it's my channel. So... It also gives you stuff about star signs that have to do with some of the birthdays, so like, for me, I'm a Libra, but we're not gonna get too far into, you know, star signs and stuff, I mean, oh, I didn't notice, so Libra is the youngest of the zodiac signs, and the only one not to be represented by a living creature. The symbol relates to the ancient Egyptian goddess Mat who personified the concepts of truth, balance, order, law, morality, and justice. Her role was in upholding the laws of the creator. It was believed that after death, after death, she weighed the human soul, thought to reside in the heart on one scale and the feather on the other. If the soul was heavier than the feather, it had to reincarnate. If lighter, the soul would go to paradise. Oh, that's really cool. And then it says, you know, okay, so for Libra, because we love that. Um, tarot card is justice, element air, quality cardinal, number seven, ruling planet Venus, gemstones, diamond, and quartz crystal. Colors, white and multicolors, day of the week, Friday. Compatible signs, Gemini, Leo, and Sagittarius. Y'all know I love you, a, Le a Leo. Keywords, impartial and balanced mind, perfect partner, sociable and gregarious, graceful, indecisive, extravagant, pleasure-seeking, superficial. Anatomy. So these are parts of the body that can either be a deficit or you'll usually experience like, you know, problems with them. So we got kidneys, skin, lumbar region, and buttocks. Kidneys and skin is definitely. Herbs, plants, and trees, watercress, strawberry, vines, violets, pansy, and primrose, Libra powers, graceful and charming, 
a wonderful friend. Libra negatives, a fiery sign, and a tension seeker. So we're gonna go to October 5th. So, I want you guys to comment your birthdays down below. And I'll make a video dedicated to you. Let me know like your subscriber name and your birthday. And I'll make a video dedicated to you talking about what your birthday means. And also if you want me to include your star sign in that video, I will do that as well and tell you stuff about the star signs. So October 5th, you are a vivacious, generous person with a warm and open heart. Your kindness and playfulness are very attractive and people love to be in your company. Leadership positions in the fields of politics, music, or the theater are appealing as career paths. See, I was a theater major at college, so it makes sense. You are self-confident and adore being the center of attention. However, if people fail to recognize and appreciate your talents, you can get very upset and become quite temperamental. Your lifestyle is important and you often live beyond your means for the sake of keeping up appearances. Romance keeps your inspiration flowing and is an essential part of your life. The only problem is your tendency to worship your lover and keep them on a pedestal. Creativity is your strength, so when your emotions overcome you, it's time to express yourself through your art. So planets are Sun and Venus. Strengths, self-assured with a sympathetic nature. Weaknesses, highly strong and at times needy. Meditation, so this is something you can say to yourself. Uh, don't smother your loved one. No one can grow in the shade. And that tells you celebrities that were born on this day. So that's really cool. So mine are Dennis Diderot, who's a philosopher and encyclopedist. Sir Bob Geldof, who's a musician from the band Boomtown Rats and a political activist. Ray Kroc, entrepreneur, Joshua Logan, film director and writer, Louis Lumiere, film pioneer, Kate Winslet, Titanic bit. But you got other people in here, like you got a bunch of, um, you got a bunch of people in here. So if y'all want me to make a video dedicated to your birthday, just put it in the comments below and I will tell you all the stuff that's associated with your day and if you want me to include your zodiac sign let me know and I'll make a video dedicated to you and I'll be in a special podcast not podcast <laughs> special playlist dedicated to people's birthdays so let me know if you want to see that let me know if you like this video um if you want to see more videos like this like hauls from stuff I buy I know y'all I love my hauls um if you want me to do the book of birthday series, I would be seriously excited about that. Or this might be weird. Do you want me to like read stuff to you? Okay, I'm gonna be a teacher. I'm gonna be an English teacher. So I need to make sure I know how to like read. You know? Not like read, but like read stuff to people. So if y'all want me to like read some poetry or um like I would love to do audiobooks. That's like my dream. Audiobooks would be so much fun. Although I sometimes stutter, so I'd have a problem with that. Um, not stutter, but I trip over my words sometimes. Um, but I would love to do that. Like, I'd love to read. And I think that'd be really cool. So let me know if y'all want to see that. Let me know what videos you want me to see next, because I'll, I'll do them. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the future i swear to god i'm gonna make videos it's just really hard to do because i have so much homework and this semester is like already super busy because i have six classes this semester next semester i might get have five so i'm gonna be able to like slow down and work on things and i might get a job next semester i don't know so i'm trying to figure that out but um uh comment uh your birthday if you want me to do the book of birthdays series um comment if you want me to do more hauls in the future if you want me to do a haul from different stores i go to like if i go to ulta again if i go to sephora again hot topic h&m let me know if you want to see those um and hit the notification bell for a new video whenever i can get one out there i try my best but it's really hard um 
and follow the social media links in the description below. So you got Instagram, you got TikTok, you got Tumblr, you got the fandom blog, you got the F blog, and you got Twitter. And then in the description, there's going to be two things at the bottom. There's going to be a link to my latest haul video and then a link to my uh, shopping hauls playlist. So please check those out and they'll also be right here on the site. Um, if those links in the description don't work, use here. If these two don't work, links in the description below. Thank you so much. You can subscribe right here. And have a nice day.